So we got one of our sisters that's picking up, you know, their children and guess who they run into? They run into the terror of America. Yes, the white supremacists are terror in this country. Um, even the, the government recently said that white supremacists, you know, are a domestic terror threat. And I always told you white supremacists just isn't neo-Nazis. That's the ones that's willing to be open. The, those who believe in white supremacy believe that their group of people must dominate and control everything. And they believe in anti-black racism. And where, that's where the other white supremacists come in. Case in point, this video. Now, when black people are trying to live their lives and do everyday things, watch what happens in this video. We see it, but we've been doing this for two years. Are we bothering y'all doing this, picking our kids up? Take a picture of the license plate. Yeah, take it, take it. I'm the wrong one for you to mess with, ma'am, about a part, picking up my son. You don't oh, know baby. me and I don't know oh, you, baby. baby. Yes, okay, oh baby. Well, I will be you you now. talking for somebody. You, Call them right now. Can you um, Call the cops right now. Are y'all serious? It's people pick their kids up from here every freaking single day. She just threatened me. I did not threaten you was a liar. You, you could you could never you said you were the wrong person to mess with. Yes, I am about my picking up my kids. You're right. I've told y'all many, many times before, as I get older, my patience level for things like that um is very low. I don't have patience for their anti-black racism. I don't have patience, you know, for their white supremacy. That's why for me personally, uh, my greatest place to be is an African continent because I don't have to deal with them. And if I do see them, they're on their P's and Q's. They're not running around there acting a fool. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all haven't really been in a place where they're not in the majority like that. And when they're not in the majority, they, they got a lot more act right. They're not going to mess with you like that. They're going to stay in line. They're going to watch their mouth. And when they in this country, well, yeah, they're in the majority. They run everything. So they say, shoot, I can do whatever I want to do to these black people. We see it. But we've been doing this for two years. Are we bothering y'all doing this, picking our kids up? Take a picture of the license plate. Yeah, take it. Take it. I'm the wrong one for you to mess with, ma'am, about a part, picking up my son. You don't oh, know me baby. and I don't know oh, you, baby. baby. Yes, okay, oh baby. Well, I will be calling you. Them you now. talking for somebody, you, call them right now. Can you um, call the cops right now? Are y'all serious? It's people pick their kids up from here every freaking single day. She just threatened me. I did not threaten you. You was a liar. You, you could you could never you said you were the wrong person to mess with. Yes, I am about my picking up my kids. You're right. If you're a black person that's defending yourself and standing up and doing the right thing as you should. You know, they can just weaponize uh, their police because it is their police, it's not mine, it's not yours. And then now they're being defended without even hearing the story. Now, when you have a countries where it is the majority of black people and somebody look like you show up and they really more take your side or at least be fair with the situation, that's the way things, you know, should be. Uh, these two people, like I said, they are miserable. They are so miserable because even when we're not there or in the room, they, they are talking about us. They are so obsessed with black people. And it's like, you know you how miserable you gotta be be worrying about somebody parking their car to get their kid. That's the last thing I'm worrying about, somebody parking their car and picking up their children. I got a thousand other things to do, but most of them don't have nothing going on in their life. They, they sorry, they broke, you know, they, they can't figure things out. And I always say this, how you broke in a system that's built for you a system that gives you all the advantages. How are you broke and dusty? I never understood that. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what y'all seen in this video here. Like I said, now that sister, you know, would have uh, really got up on them. Then they want to cry and say, oh, the police or whatever. But they need to leave people alone.